Humans are fueled by negative emotions. Whether it's hatred, depression, fear, or arrogance, negative emotions have led us to incredibly dark places in our history. But what happens when our negative emotions don't just exist within the human mind? What happens when our negative emotions take form, creating destructive and violent creatures that want nothing more than to cause harm wherever they go? This is the question author Gege Akutami attempts to answer in his manga series Jujutsu Kaisen to glorious results. The curses in the world of Jujutsu Kaisen are unlike most creatures I've seen in fiction. Since they form from human emotion, they are in a way created from our compulsion for self-destruction and act as a true reflection for the parts of ourselves we try to conceal. Hey everyone, this is Anime Capsule, and in this video we'll be taking a look at the aspects that makes the curses of Jujutsu Kaisen so unique from other works. Anyways, thank you for clicking on the video. And this is the Curses of Jujutsu Kaisen Explained. Within the world of Jujutsu Kaisen, there exist individuals who possess strange and unique abilities. These abilities are thanks to Cursed Energy, a metaphysical energy force that allows people to break through their human limits and showcase incredible feats of power. Cursed energy is formed by negative emotions. Feelings like anxiety, disgust, hate, or depression can leak out of the human body and manifest into cursed energy. Enough cursed energy can pool and create a destructive energy force that can either be used on its own to perform strong physical attacks or used to create incredibly powerful cursed techniques that can even bring scientific concepts into reality. Now these amazing feats can only be accomplished by a select group of people, mainly Jujutsu sorcerers, who have learned to control their cursed energy through discipline and extensive training. Most people don't have that luxury, so their cursed energy constantly leaks outwards instead of being efficiently cycled around their bodies. This leaked cursed energy builds up over time, eventually manifesting into a cursed spirit, which goes on to curse the place they first appeared. Curses typically form in highly populated areas, like schools, hospitals, or malls, and some curses choose to linger in the areas they first appeared. Regular humans typically can't perceive curses because they can't control their cursed energy. However, curses can become visible if someone's life is threatened or if the vast amounts of cursed energy is too overwhelming. A curse's appearance can closely relate to the negative emotions they form from, and their abilities are most of the time tied to what formed them to begin with. The collective terror of the masses can also emerge as a cursed spirit. When a large amount of people share the fear of something that is not real, such as a famous yokai or a ghost story like the nine-tailed fox, a cursed spirit can emerge from those stories. Sometimes a curse is too hard to identify from their appearance alone, so you may have to listen to their speech pattern, as some curses repeat words that may give you insight as to which negative emotion they form from. <laughs> Also, since curses are essentially ghosts, they're capable of taking over objects, turning them into a cursed corpse. Since curses form from negative emotions, they are naturally animalistic and attack humans on instinct. Some choose to harm them outright, inflicting severe bodily harm upon them. Others choose to curse their targets, often taking the form of unexplained symptoms such as shoulder pains. Cursed spirits can also curse humans that visit a certain location, usually resulting in that human being killed under specific conditions. The impact of cursed spirits is immense, as the number of deaths and disappearances in Japan exceeds 10,000 per year. Cursed spirits are a huge threat to society, but many lack the means to effectively fight back against them. 
Not only are curses capable of easily healing their injuries, but curses can also only be damaged through the use of cursed energy, either by someone like a Jujutsu Sorcerer or by the use of a cursed energy infused object. But even if you can effectively fight back against them, curses cannot be killed forever. As long as people retain negative emotions, a curse will always reform, no matter how many times you kill them. Curses are typically classified into grades, from 4 to special grade, depending on their strength level. Grade 4 and 3 level curses are the most common type of curses and are considered the weakest. Grade 2 curses are a lot harder to defeat, and even with a shotgun you'd be cutting it close. Grade 1 and special grade curses are the most powerful and only sorcerers of the same rank can take them on. These curses form from massive amounts of cursed energy, so they are immensely powerful and intelligent. Humanity's fear of natural disasters resulting from forest, oceans, and volcanic activity has directly led to the formation of Hanami, Jogo, and Dagon, three intelligent special grade curses that seek to rid the world of human influence. Some powerful curses typically take on a more humanoid appearance. They are bipedal and some decide to wear human clothing. Sometimes curses become too powerful to defeat, so they must be sealed away, often taking the form of cursed objects, such as Sukuna's fingers. However, these curses can incarnate once again if someone consumes the cursed object. Be sure to not carry around these cursed objects though, as weaker curses are known to be attracted to them as they can boost their strength by an enormous amount. Sometimes when a human dies, their soul becomes twisted and cursed, forming into a vengeful spirit. Sorcerers have a higher probability of becoming cursed after death, however, this can be avoided with Jujutsu. Sukuna and Rika, for example, count as humans who were reborn as powerful curses after their deaths. Cursed wombs are fetus-shaped cursed objects that evolve into a special grade cursed spirit. During their fetus stage, these cursed wombs can be seen by even non-Jujutsu sorcerers. Some cursed wombs are created from Sukuna's fingers, which helps the fetus grow, eventually becoming a powerful curse known as a finger bearer. Dagon is another example of a cursed womb, however, Dagon's evolved form is much smarter than the other cursed wombs we've seen and is considerably more powerful. But not all curses are born from raw cursed energy. When the blood of a cursed spirit and a human are mixed, it creates a cursed object known as a cursed womb painting. By themselves, these curses are completely harmless, having to be preserved in cylinder-shaped tubes. However, a cursed womb can incarnate into a full half-human, half-cursed spirit capable of using jujutsu by implanting them into a human vessel. The vessel can be anyone, including a human with no natural ability for sorcery or the potential to become one. Fun Fact Whenever a person is killed without the use of cursed energy, there's a small possibility that they could become a vengeful cursed spirit at their death, especially if they die with ill intentions or if their deaths were rejected enough. Some curses are far too weak to even be classified as 4th grade. These curses are called flyheads, and your bare hands should be enough to kill them. Curses represent the truest form of humanity, as they form from the worst parts of ourselves, feelings and emotions that lead to our own self-destruction. It's only natural that curses seek to harm us in the worst ways possible. In a way, fighting against a curse is like trying to fight the worst parts of the human psyche, and no matter how many times you kill them, they'll always once again take form, as we can never truly defeat the enemies we ourselves create.